there. So <laughs> we got player four fighting off against oh, no. Mr. E. <laughs> it's the round three Aeon Classic. Player four is going to lose 2-1 to Mr. E. Sad. But you can't just call out my man like that. Like, what if I, he actually wins? Won't I you will feel, be elated for my boy. Won't you feel like a funny duddy? Uh, hey, listen. Let me see. Let me be wrong. Let me see player four take this. Um, but I'm not gonna feel it here for game one. Smashville, a historically amazing stage for Mr. Ree, especially for his Lucina, able to contest stage control so well with an unfortunate recovery from player four right off the bat. The it's, intimidation. It, it's just looking a little grim. We notice that Mr. Ree likes to bust out the Lucina a lot more lately. He just feels like he can get more quick stuff coming out. Look at this movement. You see him like going for these like dash dances. Oh, player four looking for some McNasty out of that footstool. I dig it. Goes for the booty bop instead to push him on the edge of the stage. Shield. Pull on that shield. Just pull that block. Dancing blade right out of shield, allowing Mr. E to reverse that pressure right away. However, player four going to do his best to be able to net plenty of damage. Did, no, he was going to be able to grab that he one. Would, yeah. yeah. Like, Lucina might look smaller than Marth, but she has some mean... Hands. She's, uh, she's got around. long arms, man. She can lose the reach. Like, it was pretty quick. I like the short hop down air. Just like, just but knowing that the dash attack was gonna come out because Peach like lunges forward with it, able to just kind of sweep her. Goes for the back air as a punish, as a cross up. Looking for that forward air finish. Not opting to commit to it just yet. Goes for the counter again. We see that Mystery definitely knows his matchup. Has played against Player Force Peach again and again to just go out there with that counter so bravely. There it is. Like, it's such a tough situation as Peach to try to recover low against someone who has a counter or a quick counter like that. Like I don't think that could work on like Shulk's counter or anything, you know. Nah. Like, imagine like a Shulk trying to do like a counter off stage like that. And there's just, so like, many ways they to swing to their death. No, yeah, there's so many ways to take advantage of vision, vision and uh and slip counter. Yeah, I was, I was literally back. just about to mention or like Lucario. <laughs> oh yeah, F uh, what is there's it? so many weird double counters team? in this game. Yeah, double team. Are we seeing the? It's happening! The prophecy is coming true! If you play Peach, you will eventually see the way and play Bayonetta. Player 4 has been fighting this for the longest time, but he has been practicing Bayonetta. He understands what him. he needs to do with this character. He's not confident enough to make the full switch to give in to the prophecy, as I've called it, but... The prophecy. It is the prophecy. Yeah, you know, Mr. E, you know, mixing up his playstyle a little bit because he can't just go ham sandwich as much because he has to respect the witch time possibility. As I say that, you see him go for the counters because, again, even though it's a different character, it's the same player. So he still has kind of the same timings on how he tries to go for the recovery, and Mr. E definitely has him downloaded in that regard. Uh, player 4 looking a little messy with his inputs, and Mr. E looking clean with his spacing. That forward smash can be knocking off another stock. Play 4's not out of it just yet. He's got Mystery at 73 in counting. We're in the middle of a combo, but we're going to see E pop out of it right away. Yeah, that was a good punish for Mystery. He recognized that Bayonetta was just out of, like, the second he touched the ground after he was committing to those attacks so much, you have a landing lag. Mystery recognized that. He got the forward smash. That's pretty much what he's been doing a lot here. He's waiting for Player 4 just to throw out all the Witch Twists. And by the time he lands down on the ground, then he goes for the punish. All right, so I put my boy Player 4 on blast a little bit earlier. Uh, let me, I guess, give a little bit of that back to Mr. E. Uh, fun fact with Mr. E, he has actually lost at least one set to every Bayo main from Long Island. And as of recent, has actually been struggling a bit against Bayonetta, having quite a noted hatred for the character publicly. And it's definitely not because of... Yo, my man's even... Look into the camera? That's all he wanted. That's actually all he wanted. The set's already done too well. But nonetheless... There it is. You got it. And here comes the giant fist. Well, All right. What else can you say, man? I know you were talking about how Mr. E hates Bayonetta, right? Yes. So I remember that that being insanely large back when Bayonetta was first released and she was in her, like, Unleashed stage. <laughs> she uh, drove him mad. He was, like, 